$100 Dollar Tree haul coming up after this. Got a lot of stuff here. I do have a couple disclaimers though. I live in Canada, so in Canada, things at the dollar store cost $1.25. And this isn't from one one trip. However, it could have been because there was a new dollar store that opened up in my vicinity. They are so far away in the suburbs. I live in the suburbs, but I think the one that opened up close to me is closest to downtown, probably. They're in the suburbs of the suburbs here in Ontario, Canada. So I'm happy that one is so close. And I was there for the grand opening. Now, in this haul are some items from previous visits to the Dollar Tree, um, just probably a couple days before because I was so excited and I wanted to go to one to find out what I should be ready for. And also missing from here are Hot Wheels. I bought lots and lots of Hot Wheels and found treasure hunts because it was the grand opening and everything. The walls were new. I should have filmed it to tell you the truth. There weren't that many people there when I was waiting in line and I was happy to see, you never see a Dollar Tree with full stock of everything, so it was a really cool experience. Now I kept going back and getting more stuff, and there's some Halloween things in here, and there's all kinds of fun things in here, so let's just jump into it. Okay, yeah, and it's probably way over a hundred items, actually, so it's going to be more than a hundred dollars because I have kept going back. Yeah, overdid it. Okay, let's see. I thought that this mini furniture furniture was what I was really wanted to collect, but then I thought this house kind of looks creepy. I'm going to DIY this for a Halloween house, but then I'm always going to have this little miniature. But I'm going to spray paint the roof black, and hopefully I can punch these doors and windows out. So that's going to be a fun little craft for this house. And then, okay, and then the Halloween stuff is on top because it's the last stuff I bought. So we'll do this. These I bought, these are little stickers, but I bought to put these on shelves for a Halloween room. So I'm going to do that as well. So these are, I just like the boxes. The art and the design is so nice on those. And there's something else that yeah, these. I think these are little kaleidoscopes, little party packs. I love the graphic design for everything, and they have gotten really great, cute artists to do these things. So yeah, I'm just gonna put these up on canister, up on um, shelves. Like they'll look like canisters or little cups, or I don't know. They just look awesome on the shelves. Bones. They're just cool. I can do a lot of things with those. Okay, and then these scarves. So I saw one, I thought I should, could get one, but when I see a whole collection of something, I have to get the whole collection. And I think that I can make dress, I know I can make dresses with these, real simple wrap dresses. That'll be a great video too. Halloween dresses, I'll put them on dolls and I'll show you how you can wrap them around your dolls in different ways. So what's that? Two, three, four, five. So I'm going to have to make, come up with five different styles of wrapping scarves on your dolls to make them into dresses. Some of the pictures that I have posted on Instagram, people have asked, how did you how did you turn that scarf into a dress and I never did answer or make a video on it it was just a trial thing these are really cute I don't know what I'm gonna do with them the bones the bones actually I didn't know what they look like they could be femurs from Barbies so these these are oversized they're just really cute and I like them and I I think so. That, you know what? They could be like um, for a room. They could be just art pieces for the wall or on a shelf too. And uh, that is what these will look so good in dioramas. The little baby blocks. I love wooden blocks. 
so to have these little cute plastic wooden blocks, it, it, they're just kind of really cool. And I like the pastel colors, and hopefully it doesn't look like a baby shower. That's what these things are, little baby shower trinkets. Okay, what else do I got in here? I have some coins. I got this from the party section as well. I love pirate treasure. I'm going to have to do a video on uh, my pirate treasure that I collected. Maybe I'll put that on my vlog channel. Uh, this is something that I didn't get enough stuff. I wanted to do this on my vlog channel, but it turned out all of the stuff is toys or diorama stuff. But I needed this wooden spoon. I think I'm going to eat with this just like regular. I'll probably do mukbangs using this spoon to eat with. And it's good to have something like a wooden spoon to stir with so you're not scraping your dishes or your pots with the metal spoons. And I just got new s silver silverware and I don't want to be scraping that around. Well, vintage silverware. My Froggy Stuff just used silicone molds to make, uh, I guess she was making picture frames mostly, but I bought all of these silicone, well, I, no, I bought a few silicone molds, and because I knew that at the Dollar Tree they had gold and silver glue sticks. So I'm going to put these uh, flourishes embellishments, it's going to be in a different haul that I got off of Amazon, and I'm going to make... You, if, I hope you've seen my rooms, my uh, period, they're like uh, Victorian, Parisian walls. I don't know if I'm going to have to redo them. I don't know if I'm just going to do these as embellishments, or I might just have to create new or better rooms, but I love the rooms that I have already. I love my walls so much, so yeah, I don't, maybe these will be embellishments for furniture. I don't know, I'm going to experiment with it, and I'm so excited to see how the silver and gold, I guess the gold I'm the most excited about, hey, just like the coins, silver and gold. <sighs> Little animals, again, I can do a horse room. I was really surprised at how beautiful these sculpts are and how nice these colors are. These are really good for a fall room. I don't know if I'm going to push out all these videos quick enough though. But yeah, these are great fall colors, and they would look great in a fall horse room. I love these molds. This was a really surprising find. I've never seen those before. And then dinosaurs. We might have to do a room for slate and dinosaurs. I've had many little mini plastic dinosaurs before. But again, I'm, I'm really digging these molds. The molds look expensive, and I love the dinosaurs. So we'll do a slate room with dinos. Uh, more little crafty things. Just putting these up on a shelf is going to look great. A black and white room. Mostly I love black and white and natural wood together so that, yeah, these letters are going to look... I don't know how many are they all there. Do we have all the alphabet? Can I spell out things? Do I want to? Just putting them on a shelf is going to look great. Okay, I found these little boxes. Again, for some other room. This would be maybe a really fancy Parisian room. I am going to do a video on how to make boxes, take boxes to the next level with little effort, easy, easy. So I do know how to make these. These look like nightstands already. The hardware is great. Gold and silver in these. They're little drawers. They're functional. Yeah, they're nice with the fans on them. What a great print. They had a few of these, but this was definitely the best print. You, When you're looking for little things and prints for your dolls, you really want to go as small as possible because it's still going to look like a large print when it's, you know, translated to doll scale. So it's, it is a larger print for dolls, but it's a very small print for humans. And that is what's going to make it look more realistic. Yeah, I love these. I don't really like to work with cardboard or paper because I do think that it can look cheap, but I think these are going to look really well. Yeah, I try to get wood things because I personally like wood in my surroundings. Here's an exception though. And 
that's the exception I make in life too. I have lots of storage bins and they're usually plastic for convenience. I would always prefer to get clear ones so you can see the contents of your stuff. And I also like to make sure that all of my plastic bins are the same. So I do get mine from the Canadian dollar store, Dollarama, because I know that I can keep going back and get more and more of the same ones. So they line up on the shelf and they will look uh, expensive or um, put together or the the best part, the biggest reason is that they will all nest perfectly together and it just keeps things neat and tidy. And these ones are amazing and they look like they're just big totes in Doll World. And I have all kinds of tiny little things that I need to keep track of and organize. So just like in my world, in Doll World, we need lots of plastic totes. We're getting into more toys now. These Builder Bricks like Lego, Lego rip-off toys. These are awesome though. Streets, affordable, each one of these $1.25. Everything is $1.25, or actually in Canada, everything's $1.25, or some things are $1.50. Nothing so far has been a dollar fifty. It's usually brand name things. Hot Wheels are a dollar fifty. Some food is a dollar fifty. So these come in different configurations. So I got all kinds of different ones. And I these are some of the things I got some of these before. And I needed you can never find uh, all of the ones that you want. And because it was a new store and it was opening and they had full boxes, I was able to grab all of the different ones that I want and when I am going to review my Hot Wheels, I'm going to set these up on the ground and I'm going to drive my cars on them and they're just on base plates to play with your car Legos on it for not even just to build on doll dresses. I have doll dresses from the Dollar Tree from years ago that I still have not done, but I thought I would buy the latest series, and I think I got one of each, even though sometimes I think some of them look really plasticky. This one looks really plasticky. This one looks kind of expensive and also Victorian and Parisian and would definitely fit very well in my diorama. So that one I like. And this one is surprisingly looks nice. And this one is really nice too in gold. So I want to see how well they fit. I'll try them on the four or five different Barbie body sizes and we'll see how that goes. More brick zombies. Oh, I guess these are good for Halloween. I got all the zombie ones. I thought that they would be fun. I do have some zombie figure packs somewhere from another time from that I haven't opened. So these are kind of cute and cool. And I love zombies. I love brick building. Scrunchies. I have been using scrunchies for Barbie fashions for years. They just make great stoles or anything. And when you find fur ones, you definitely want to grab them. And I thought that these could make little chic little um, lingerie, putting one for a top and one for a bottom. And I just got extra ones for stoles. I noticed some of them are in different sizes, like this one is bigger. And I think, yes, these two are bigger, um, kind of a different texture too. And then these ones are fluffier and smaller. And I guess I just got two pink. And I was trying to save money, so maybe I just got one of those and I thought I could mix and match maybe, or I wanted to at least get one set to wear together. I love, uh, these pastels, Dusty Rose and Sea Foam, look amazing together. Baby Blue and Pink look amazing together. So those are fun. What's this? Oh, another car. I got this for the miniatures more than I did 
of the car, there's some great little miniatures to put up on the shelf, like for to have a toy room and to have all these little figures and car things. So that is really fun. But the car is pretty cool too. I did not see these. I got this one before. I did not see them at the new store. I guess it is an older Dollar Tree toy, but hopefully there are other sets with other other little miniatures. I think I bought this before years ago and I didn't look through it but little cloths are always great for dioramas and I will do many black and white rooms because again I love black and white in a room and the, these are great patterns uh, and little terry towels you'd be surprised bedspreads <laughs> little blankets, I guess that's it. Beach towels, you can do so many things with the little fairy towels. And then... The Sesame Street stuff. I went into the Dollar Tree yesterday. I bought most of the stuff a long time ago. It's probably been a, 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 couple, well, a couple weeks at least since the store opened. I keep going back to check on new Hot Wheels or whatever, but whenever I see these Muppet Babies, these Sesame Street Babies, I want everything, and they just got new brushes, but I told myself, you don't need these combs and brushes, they're bigger, I, there's nothing I could see myself doing with them, I mean, I could use them with uh, Baby Alives, which is why I bought these three pacifiers, I have three Lukes, that uh, I think they're the most adorable baby alives ever, and I'm going to give them these pacifiers. I haven't brought out my baby alives in a long, long time, but these three pacifiers are so cute. The Sesame Street Muppet Babies are so cute. And then I also remembered on those brushes, I, I like they have the single figures standing, and they're so cute. But I remembered that if you buy these cloths, so it's probably like, see how big bird, baby, they're just so cute. I think it's this cookie monster with the cookie in his hands. Uh, these are something that I can store and I can just, I mean, this is, this is sparking joy for sure. I, I can't, I just look at these and I can't read how cute they are. I guess I can make an Elmo room, a big bird room, a cookie monster room. I never have to buy anything again, and I shouldn't. Okay, I've got this mirror. I think as simple as just putting this on top of the thing, you get a vanity. That looks fantastic. Okay, I'm going to let you know. Just I'm going to put little feet on the bottom of this, and it's just going to elevate it to the next level. And it's going to look amazing. So great little mirror. And... Did I just ruin it? It was so tight before. Can I tighten that with the... It was stiff. And now it's not stiff. Anyway, I'll figure it out. Crates. These are great. I don't know if I've ever seen this simple design before. These are large enough to scale properly. I can build shelves with these. I love wooden crates in my life. These are just great to put and take studio photographs, sit a doll on one of these. So many possibilities for these. Six of them because you can, I can stack them for shelves. I mean, if I do one row of shelves on one side of a room, then I probably want to do another row on another, so I'm gonna need at least six of them, so I got six of them. Miniatures, always great. These will look so great on a shelf, and uh, you never find a complete set of these when you go, but because it was a brand new store, they have a cross sell on the back. Cute. I was able to get every single one. So, so happy about that, that I got the whole collection. The pets are obviously the best ones. They're going to look so cute in a room. I love them. 
I am obsessed with cards right now. I love collecting. I'm a completist. I always, um, cards were the beginning of collecting and you can't get good cards anymore. I, I just, I'm so dissatisfied with collector cards these days, but there's going to be cute little pictures in these Fisher Price little people, one of my favorite toy properties. I know that there's adorable things in here. Um, these aren't going to be the right size to fit into my little card um, sleeves that I like to put in books and flip through. Um, look forward to a lot of videos with me and playing with my cards and looking at cards because right now I'm obsessed. So. I can't wait to open those and see what's inside. And I have a couple more card decks that I got from other stores that I really want to look inside. The other ones of those crates I showed you. We're coming to the end here. Little peg people. I, I, I can see these looking really nice on the shelf at Christmas time. I don't like to paint this stuff. I like the natural wood and in real life I like the natural wood, and in my dioramas, I can just see these being so a nice little crafty Christmas. I'm just going to put them on the shelf with other things. I love little wooden peg people. Again, Fisher Price little people. That's where they came from. These canisters, they can look like cookie tins, I think. Maybe they're going to scale too big. Maybe they're not. I know I can do something with them. These are cool. I think that I think that they're small enough that they can be little cookie tins. You know what? If I take these apart, like if I open them up, they can be little metal trays. So yeah, there's gonna be a purpose for those. These dice I just liked. I bought some other dice like this actually from a different store in another hall coming up. From a toy warehouse. But I just love the translucentness of these. They just speak to me. Oh, wait, they're not even, they're golden marbled. I like them. They look, I can do a math room. I just, I think that they would look so cool on a shelf too. And little black wooden, wooden letters. So letters look great on a shelf. They just add interest, you can spell things out. Who, who even needs to. You can just put up your favorite letters and they're black and they're wood. This is quality stuff. That's everything. What was your favorite find of mine? What is the video you're looking most forward to seeing me do with these? I have a lot of videos coming up. I don't have to go shopping ever again. This is a lot of spending and a lot of time and I have to stop going and make more videos. And I love you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Wow. Uh, I think these might spark the most joy. This, that room, uh, some kind of Parisian elegant room, golden tops. Like that's that's they're gonna look amazing. Halloween dresses. I'm so excited to make those. That's gonna be a really fun video. Black and white rooms. I don't know what. It's I just love pirate treasure. I've never really spray painted anything before. Well, I mean, I've spray painted before. I've never done it for a DIY. Cool. Oh, I'm trying these dresses on. I know that that's what most people are going to want to see. They love when you try the dresses on the dollies. So many different rooms. Dinosaur room, another dinosaur room.